Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for June the 1st of 2020, well, it is titled The Lively Center of the Lagoon Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, we are looking at the central portions of the Lagoon Nebula, the Great Emission Nebula, and it is a star-forming region. So nebulae uh, form uh, from material within our galaxy, and as the gas and dust begins to collapse, stars will begin to form. Now, the first stars that form, and the ones that form the quickest, will be the most massive stars. So, we're seeing the central illuminated portions here by a very bright star known as Herschel 36. So, it's an extremely bright star, very massive, much more massive than our sun, much brighter and hotter than our sun as well. It's also the type of star that won't live a very long time. When you get to stars this massive, the more massive a star is, the faster it goes through its life. So, while a star like our sun might live 10 billion years, uh, us much more massive stars can only live a few million years. So, thousand times less than our own sun. And that will illuminate and allow us to see some of the regions around here. And we see some of the dark areas, dark dusty areas, pockets of dense material where more stars are still in the process of forming. We can also see some of the gas that's being illuminated. Almost all hydrogen gas, like most material in the universe, just about everything is hydrogen, so about 90% of the atoms that we see are all hydrogen atoms, and the remainder are helium with traces of everything else that in the periodic table. And we, star formation continues to go on. You can look towards the knots, some of the knotty areas here. The little denser, compact areas are regions where stars are forming right at this time. So if we could come back in 100,000 years or so, we would have a chance to see more stars uh, forming, and there would be more stars here. And the nebula, the interior sections, are being shaped by those hot stars as they form. So as a new star forms, its strong stellar winds and the radiation pressure from the star will push away material and start to shape the nebula. The denser pockets will remain, but the less dense areas will quickly be eaten away. And the star formation will continue until enough stars have formed that the material has pretty much been cleaned out. So there is not enough concentration of material to form any new stars. And we will left be left behind with a open cluster of stars. And that process can take millions of years, and we don't see the changes over, you know, human lifespans, but over tens and hundreds of thousands of years, the shape of this nebula will constantly change. So that was our picture of the day for June the 1st of 2020. It was titled, The Lively Center of the Lagoon Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Human Foe. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.